Hello everyone and welcome to another computer software is your friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to install Windows 8 Developer Preview. So to do so you boot up off of your USB drive or your DVD drive and it will first load the files that it will need to run the installation. This isn't a very long process. Now one thing to note about the Windows 8 install is that it is very similar to that of Windows 7 and Windows Vista. And as you can see here we have the new splash spring, uh, splash uh, screen, sorry. Um, and that too doesn't really take long. So essentially you're going to see that the installation process as of yet is very similar to that of previous uh, Windows installations. So here we are, you choose the language that you want, the developer preview only comes in English, so we're going to hit next, and then we're going to install now, and ultimately if you need to repair your computer you would go to that point as well, um, for your bootloader or whatever. So then it will start the setup, and I mean this is exactly the same as the Windows 7 install, except uh, it doesn't have the fancy background. Now, essentially, you're going to need to accept the license of terms and click Next. Choose Custom. You should always choose Custom. Uh, and this essentially uh, installs a fresh install of Windows. So then you choose your partition, format it if you didn't already. And uh, as you can see, I'm also running Windows 7 on my computer. So essentially, you select the partition that you want to install Windows 8 on and then you hit next. This is going to be a very fast process. It's just going to install and do everything on its own and when it's done the first part of that process it's going to restart. And as you can see we restarted and uh, this is this is a long process so I sped it up but it is a very um, you, you don't need to be there to watch it. It will do everything on its own. So now what it's doing is it's preparing to continue the installation and it will now uh, work on your devices. And now it will prepare your system and restart your computer again. I mean this is very similar again to Windows Vista and Windows 7 installs. So I mean you can use this as a, as a template when you install either of those operating systems. Uh, in terms of Windows XP, XP was a much longer and much more needy process, but anyway. Um, so now we're restarting into the Windows 8 installation. And yeah, get used to that splash screen. That's, that's the new splash screen of Windows 8 Developer Preview if you do decide to install it. So now it's preparing to continue the installation. Now this is where the Windows 8 installation gets different. It will go through step by step where you will insert your name and it will give you all of the settings that you can choose. Say Express Settings, if you choose that you're going to be done very fast. But I'm going to go Customize. And uh, essentially the questions are very straightforward. You connect your stuff to the network if you have a network. So that is in itself straightforward. Um, then of course it will ask you a whole bunch of stuff about update, you choose the update options that you want and it will ask you if you want to automatically do certain things. Uh, then it will ask you some security questions such as the new um, smart screen filter that's implemented for Windows and of course the one that's already in Internet Explorer. Then you hit next and it will ask if you want to send info about Windows. And I mean, uh, it, it's, 
it's very straightforward. Most of the stuff you can just leave on. And, uh, I mean, it's very straightforward. This is the stuff that you would have skipped if you would have taken the express settings. Uh, I'm, I, of course, am going through it to see if there's anything to tweak. Uh, this does require a bit more than the Windows 7 install, but anyway. So now, uh, it asks you to log on. Now, of course, it'll ask you to input, in, uh, insert your Windows Live ID, uh, or email address, which you can insert. And then if you don't have one, on the bottom there's a link that asks, that says that if you don't have one, to click there and it will basically create an offline account. Now the perks of having the online account with the email address is that you get the sync stuff. So let's say that you install Windows 8 on another computer and insert that email. Well, the settings are going to be exactly the same as the first computer that you install with Windows 8. So that's one of the one of the benefits. Then you've got to insert your password um, for your email address, assuming that you've taken it. Uh, otherwise, of course. If you take the offline way, it will uh, go through a couple more steps with you. So now it's it's creating the account and finalizing settings. So very soon we will be logging in for the first time, which as you can see right now. And once you've logged in, you're going to see the new start menu. And this is what you're going to be greeted with. So it's still preparing the PC. That takes a bit of time, just like with Windows 7 and Windows Vista. The only thing that really changed at this point is that you're using an email address and that you are seeing Metro UI instead of Arrow. And this is it. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And I'll be uh, doing more tutorials in the future. Thank you, and uh, have a nice day.